Boy, this was a roller coaster of an episode. and clan members, Poke fans, and also with some on the video. Today we're here to talk about episode 9 of Pokemon Horizons. And boy, oh boy, I just, I don't know how I feel about this episode. I really don't. Um, like, it's, it's not a terrible episode. It just brings up a lot of issues for me, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Number one, what was the point of sending her to Kanto to school if they're just going to send somebody to bring her back? That makes no sense. That, it literally defeats the purpose, like, of, of them hiring the Volketeers. Like, why would you, if you were just going to hire a group of, of people to go retrieve your daughter from the school you just sent her to, why send her to the school to begin with, right? That's number one. Number two, where the fuck is her mom, right? If she's the one that's paying the bills to the Volketeers, why would she not be available, right, as soon as they get there? Number three, why did her dad just let her go? Her, his wife is going to beat his ass as soon as she's like, oh, oh, I let her go. Like, what, well, bitch? We, we paid these people to bring her back and you're going to tell me you let her go with them? It's ridiculous is what it is. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with Liko being with the Vulcan team. I think they're, they're, they're a great group for her to, to flourish as a, as a trainer, as an adventurer, whatever the fuck they decide to go with. I think it's a good idea for her to be on the ship. Right? I don't deny that. I just think it's ridiculous. That they set up this whole thing of, oh, we're going to send her to school in Kanto. Dad was reluctant at first, but he's like, okay, you can go. But he's going to be worried about her because it's her first time being so far away, blah, 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 blah. Only for them to then hire a ragtag team of b bounty hunters or whatever the fuck you want to call them to go retrieve her. She didn't, even, she didn't even last that long in that school. Like, how long did it take for them to show up, right? Or, or was it that they're like, oh... Like, she's gonna go, and then as soon as they let her go, they find out that the explorers are around, and they want the fucking pendant, and her mom freaks out about it. It's like, oh, no, shit. Like, at the end of the day, if the whole point of all this shit is the fact that they just wanted her back home safe, right, to protect her from the explorers, why, leave, why have her go in the first place? Or even that, if you know the pendant is so important, why the fuck would you give it to your goddamn daughter? I, like, this episode really just triggers me. <laughs> There's so, like, it's not a terrible episode. Okay, I want, I want to restate that. It's not a terrible episode. I don't, I'm not mad at what happens in the episode. I'm mad at the whole point of all this shit. It's ridiculous. Like, I, I, I felt, like, I, the, when they were like, oh, we had to make sure that you're safe and all this other shit. We're here to protect you. I thought they were just going to show her, hey, he's, she's fine. I didn't think the whole point of their, her, uh, of their job is to bring her back home and leave her there. Why send her to Kanto in the first... I, I, I feel like I'm going to go in circles if I continue on this handy, but I swear to God, this is fucking ridiculous. And I, I have a suspicious feeling. Okay, I have a suspicious feeling that her mom is now... Like, because she's not there. She's, 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 she's not even there, right? Her dad's like, oh, she, she went out to do some business, even though I, I knew my daughter was going to show up today, for fuck's sake. Um, I, I mean, I sent her to be rescued, and now I'm not going to be here when she goes. I have a suspicious feeling that she's somehow intertwined with the fucking explorers in some way, shape, or form, and that's why she wasn't home. I, like, because my, my, that brings up another question. Like, it, it, the grandma that, that talked about the pen, the one that eventually gave Liko the pen, is she Liko's dad's side of the family, or is she Liko's mom's side of the family? Because if it's Alex's side of the family, which is her dad, I think that's what his name is, if I remember really. If it's from his side of the family, then that means that mom is a fucking witch. No, I'm not gonna say. I, I'm not gonna say that. Okay, but something's fishy there. If it's from her side of the family, I can understand to some extent. But at that point, why give her the pendant to begin with if you know that's gonna be leading to some trouble? That's all I'm gonna say. Fido looks adorable in the anime. Okay, I really like that. Uh, I like it in you know in in the games. I think Fido's an adorable little ass fucking dog. I think the Sprigatito jealousy thing was completely stupid because it didn't even last that long because like Liko leaves and then all of a sudden Spigatito is like very fond of Fido so it's like what was the point of that why even have that in here like did you really need to have her split from 
Sprigatito for her to come up with the conclusion that she wants to stay on the ship. It makes no sense. Like if they just wanted to give a, a nice touch to to her dad, you know, to Alex painting this this Fido Sprigatito thing. Why not just have her stay home? Why did there need to be like a conflict between them? I just don't understand. I really don't understand. We are officially confirmed this is technically speaking the Scarlet storyline because it's not it's not on High Academy. Next episode we're going to Bracey's town. Um, I don't fucking remember what the fuck these, this area was called. I don't remember a lot of the names of the towns and cities in, in Paldeo. I'm gonna be honest. Um, but we're going to, to his uh, city and uh, according to, from what it sounds like, uh, Nimona's gonna be there, and we're gonna meet Bracius, and they're gonna do the gym test shit. Like, I don't know if it's actually like the gym test, but the way they showed in the preview is the fact that they're looking for the Sun Flora, which is technically a gym test in the game. I want, I want to, maybe, maybe I'll upload that sometime during the week before the episode comes out, because I really hope that Nimona isn't a shitty ass character like she is in the fucking games. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that in this in this episode review because episode nine, not episode ten, not about Nimona as a character. So we're gonna leave it off there. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this review. I can't I can't like it, it, rating it feels weird because I want to rate it low just because of the retroactive shit that happens from the beginning of the episode with everything that they talked about. But like the episode itself was not terrible. Um, I like that Dot shows some care for her eventual friends. Um, there's a little bit of a hint that she is uh, Gudamin because she, uh, I think Liko noticed the fucking Nidorina outfit uh, drying outside. Um, Roy uh, now has fascination for like books and shit. Like everything else is fine. I just, the retconning of all this other shit pisses me off. So <laughs> I want to give it a low rating based on that and how upset it made me for certain things. But I can't, like, I feel wrong for doing that. So I'm going to do, like, a middle point of, like, a 6.7 out of 10 for this episode. Uh, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Link in the description in case you haven't watched the episode. And as always, I've been Sorus Croxton, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's stream if you guys want to join. And if not, in the future videos. <laughs>